Hello, and welcome back to the studio. I'm Dr. Wigo, and today we've got a double unboxing. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. We'll talk about all that in a minute. We've got two Thunderbolt 5 things. One's a hub, one's a dock, and I have come to learn those are two completely different things. But for my purposes, they're actually the same thing because I'm just using it to add more ports. If you're using it to dock a laptop, well, then you want a dock. The hub will just get you extra ports. That's probably not what you want. The dock will let you, you know, connect to a monitor, multiple monitors, and all sorts of other good stuff. So why did I buy these? Well, the same reason I bought the other ones that I will link in the description below, I, the OWC hub and the Avanki dock. I unboxed both of them and installed them and tested them and they both work fine. For my purposes, again, I don't test with the monitors and the laptops because I don't do that. If that's what you're looking for, find another video. I'm just gonna talk about basically the connectivity and all that kind of stuff of these guys. Well, that's why I bought them. Let's get right into the unboxings. What do you think? I think we'll go with the Element 5 Hub from CalDigit because it's pretty cool and it's got a lot of things going for it, which we'll go over shortly. Easy open, quick start guide, just a little card. That's very handy. There's not a lot to it. Oh, but this thing is teeny tiny. I mean, look. Now, I do have big hands, but they're not that big. And it's got, I always have trouble with finding the place where you peel. And I just tore it all to shreds. That's adorable. This is already my favorite. Now, what's else down here? We got the power cord that'll go to the power brick, which we have yet to uncover. Aha, we have uncovered it. Oh, they do the little fancy. This is supposed to make it easier to open, but I can never, I'm just gonna rip the thing apart. Ah, uh, another power brick that says CalDigit right on it, so you'll know what it's going to. I really like that. I hate the no names. Wait, there's a little box. What's in the box? Ah, uh, Thunderbolt 5 cable. Looks to be about two feet. Now, it does not have the little five on it, but it does say Cal Digit, so I'll know. Wait, oh, I'm not sure this is going to pick up on camera. It's very faint here. There's a little Thunderbolt emblem and a little five. I will turn it in the light to see if maybe that'll show up. But it does say Thunderbolt five right on the cable. And that's what's in the box. Not a lot. Boy, there sure is a lot of writing on this box. Oh, it's, a, it's in every language in the world. Made in Vietnam, designed in California. Yeah, Vietnam got hit with the rough tariffs, although they're gone for now, but you yeah, never know. Well, technical specifications. It's a nice little box. Look at this little darling. It's so cute. So it's aluminum all the way around. Here's the computer connection, the Thunderbolt in. So on the front, again, we got the, the in on the side and then on the front, You've got two USB-C, which are both 10 gigabit, and two USB-A, also both 10 gigabit. Very fast ports across the front. Now on the back is where the action is. There's your three additional Thunderbolt ports you're gonna get by plugging this in here, plus another 10 gigabit USB-A, and where you plug it in. No on-off switch, you just plug it in and go. This does 180 watts. So if you are using this as a dock, which you probably shouldn't, but I think you can, it will charge, I'm not sure exactly the wattage is, but you can have 15 watt things plugged in all the way around and still have plenty of power left over for charging your laptop if, the, if you're using this with a laptop. It's so tiny. You could carry this with you. This is like a portable hub. It weighs almost nothing. What is it? Less than half a pound, 0.44 pounds. So it's just a little darling. It's my favorite. And this is really what I wanted. You know, going back, if you go back and watch the videos linked down below about the OWC hub, they didn't have enough USB. This one has two USB-C, three USB-A, plus the three Thunderbolt. It's a winner. And it's so small, it'll, like, it'll sit on top of a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio and look cute up there. Of course, as soon as I bought this, CalDigit announced their docks, their Thunderbolt 5 docks, and there's two of them, and they look amazing. I'm not gonna buy one because I have more than I need because I now have four. Well, we haven't gotten to the fourth one yet. So in a minute, I'll go down and test this out and basically see how much speed Thunderbolt 5 derives lose going through it, if any. Meanwhile, we'll just jump ahead to the second unboxing of our double unboxing. The Kensington SD5000T5. That's a mouthful of a name. 
Oh, this looks like it's a slide off. I can tell you right now, this thing is the heaviest of all of them. This is 2.15 pounds. The next closest is the Avanki at a pound. So this thing is twice as heavy. Comes with a little card. Man, it's heavy. It's a chunky boy. What else do we have down here? We have a little, little manual, power cord, and of course the, and the 140 watt power adapter. This one is generic. Oh, but we also get a Thunderbolt 5 cable. Faint on here, like the Cal Digits. It's a very faint gray little Thunderbolt and a little five. I would show you how long it is, but it is wrapped up tighter than a, insert your own metaphor. Oh, it's, a, it's just like a regular old twist tie, except twist it around. This one looks to be maybe a meter. Yeah, it's definitely, this one's two feet from the cow digit. This one's three feet. And let's look at this guy. Aluminum with plastic front and back with aluminum on the outside. On the front, we have a power indicator. We have the Thunderbolt 5 in from the PC. Mac. These things work with PCs too. This one is also 140 watts. Well, that's odd. The Avanki and the Cal Digit are 180 watts. One's a hub, one's a dock. The Kensington and the OWC are both 140 watts. One's a hub, one's a dock. So if you have less power requirements, you can maybe get by with the OWC or the Kensington. If you have more power requirements, the Avanki or the Cal Digit. Now this guy has, there's a Thunderbolt port right there next to the one going in. There's a USB-A 10 gigabit. Oh, this one, not only does it have the SD XC card reader, this has a micro SD card reader also on the front and a headphone jack like the Avanti. And then on the back, we have two more USB-A 10 gigabit ports, a Ethernet 2.5 gigabit, just like the Avanti and then two more Thunderbolt ports, a power button, and where you plug it in. I'm gonna put up a chart right now, and we have the two docks on the left side, Kensington, this one, and the Avanki, and then we have the two hubs, the Cal Digit and the OWC on the other side, and you can see that price-wise, the OWC is the winner. It's only 190 bucks. All the rest of these are more expensive. Although I would think for number of ports you get, the Cal Digit is probably, if you divide by ports, I think it's the cheapest per port. It also has the most ports, as the chart shows, the three USB-A and the two USB-C. I mean, the most USB ports. And you can read the rest of the chart. This is about the exact same size as the Avanti, only twice the weight. I don't know what's in here that's so heavy. Cal Digit is just, it's the winner on cuteness because it's just so adorable. Look at it. Twice as long. Well, we can see 8.89 inches and this is 4.48 inches. So it's almost exactly twice as wide. Hey, and the Kensington has a Kensington lock on it. Well, it ought to, it's their namesake. The Cal Digit does not have a Kensington lock, but the Cal Digit's really not for leaving in one place. You could throw this in your laptop bag and carry this around with you with more drives and stuff. Yeah, I would not throw this two pound chonker in there. But this little guy, under half a pound. Now, as always with these videos, I am now gonna take these down into the office and plug them in and run a few tests running disk drives through them, SSDs in enclosures, like I did in the previous two videos that are linked below. And then we'll come back and I'll throw up some charts comparing all four of these and the th relative throughputs. Again, no testing of the monitor stuff, but for the disk drives. SSDs. I'm an old man, I get confused. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be right back here just like that. A little longer than a few minutes later. That went very well. I usually don't get to say that when I come back from the office. Unfortunately, I could not run the test on the Samsung 990 Pro because if you watched my video last week, you know that I put it into the Ugreen NAS along with a second one. It was my fastest drive. But my second fastest drive was the Western Digital 850X Black. And you can see from the chart, there's really no difference on any of these guys. I mean, the OWC has a very slight dip and the Cal Digit on the reads was a little lower, but the Kensington was just as fast as going direct into the Mac Studio. The Avanki was almost as fast. 
there's no real difference. And if we look at the Envoy Ultra, which is the Thunderbolt 5 SSD drive, not a SSD in an enclosure, this is an actual drive from OWC, it does take a hit from going through these things from all of them. The Avanki, the OWC, the CalDigit, and the Kensington, although the CalDigit took less of a hit on reads, but they all, the enclosures, knocked the write speed down almost 10%. And there you go. These speeds are all fine. I don't think you'd really suffer from having any of your SSD drives, Thunderbolt 5 drives going through these hubs and or docks. But now going back to the overall chart of the docks, the Kensington has a lower list price, but a higher Amazon price as of the 18th of April. The OWC is by far the value winner at $189. The CalDigit, like I said, you get so many more ports for $279 that even without any kind of discount, that's a good price. So if you don't need the functionality of a dock, you know, plugging a laptop in and attaching monitors and all that stuff, I'd recommend the CalDigit. For one thing, it's adorable. It's just so tiny. And like I said, you could actually throw that in your laptop bag and haul it around with you if you wanted to take some SSDs. We know MacBooks don't have enough ports. Well, this CalDigit little tiny Thunderbolt 5 hub will give you more ports. So I would recommend the CalDigit over all of them. Uh, after that, I'd probably go with the Avanki dock because again, it's the cheapest of the two docks. It's also more power which is also, the CalDigit is also 180 watts. It has lots of ports. So those are the two that I'm probably gonna focus on. Although the OWC is fine, it just doesn't have that many ports and it doesn't have any little special features. But the CalDigit is just, now I really want a CalDigit dock. Although I don't need a dock, I'm not gonna buy one. So this is the last time you're gonna see me talking about hubs and docks because I've got four now. So if you count out up all those ports, I now have access to all of those ports. So what is the head? So it's 12 USB devices I can attach to my Mac Studio and or Mac Mini. I'm probably gonna use one of these docks on the Mini because it has fewer ports. So that's it for today. Next week, I'm probably gonna finally get around to my unboxing and review of Trails Through Daybreak 2. Didn't that game come out in February? Stuff happened. I got a Mac Studio, I got a Ugreen NAS, and all these things have happened since February when the game came out. So we'll get to that, and there'll be a little surprise announcement in there about the next Trails game after Daybreak 2, which is coming out this fall. So come back for that. That's all I got to say about docks and hubs. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye-bye. I'm going to start working on my review of Trails Through Daybreak 2. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye-bye.